kids. The kids ask you, how can you say no to the kids? Get out of here, you little sons of bitches. Okay, we got the conveyor all done here. Project for today is we got to get this grapple holder mounted. Here's our bopper mock up. Okay, here you go. Got a rubber doobie to work on. Tail light box is all done. Okay, we got the pin cut out of both sides of this thing. So we've gone from a grapple holder to a bumper, which is including a hitch, to now we're putting in a tag axle. Okay, what we got here is multi-tech wood processor, 2040 XP90. 20. There's our newest project. This is a seven foot bush house. Okay, here's what we traded all of our summer's work and spring's work. All the projects you see, we turned that cash and bought this here. Let's uh, get it unpackaged. We'll do one of them unpackaging videos where everybody cuts open a box and pulls each piece out separate. Who wants to watch that shit? Watch this shit. Okay. What it is is a Lag Myers Crosswire Pro. And it's basically a CNC controlled plasma table for cutting out different shapes and such. Air plasma. Okay. This is the uh, uh, Fusion 360 that you do the drawings in to make your it's the CAD CAM part of the cutting table. So you do your drawing and then you change it over into CAM. So here's the part where you just got it drawn and you actually put some depth on the part so when you look at it, it looks like it would it's what it would look like when it was cut out as you can see some thickness there and then once you got it all drawn out and extruded is what they call it and you got to go to manufacture and then that's where you get your setup and stuff and then that'll generate the tool pro, uh, the tool path, figure out where the tool cuts and where it starts and all that bullshit after you put a bunch of settings in there, you put your plasma table speeds in there and a bunch of bullshit and then you uh, create a G code file which basically you use here. And then this is the controller for the, the plasma table itself. There's our pattern up on the visualizer and then this is just the controls for it. Start, stop, go to your zero, zero, and you set your zero, zero point, that's right there. That's where, you know, which we've got it set on a table. And then you can scale the parts, which we got this part scaled down just so it don't waste material. And then you can rotate it if it fits on your plate in a better spot. And then you got the tortoise control stuff up here. That automatically keeps your torch height 16th above the plate. This is what the G-code looks like. And that's where it will go down through there as it as it cuts. And then this will show you where it is in the cut path. And then this just is a axis where you're at. You know, we're basically in the middle of the table, but we're zero, zero on that part. And then you jog it around with these up and down with the torch and then four different directions with the uh, the torch itself and then you can set the speed so when you get close you can just bump it in and then I got a manual nest that's cool I'll show you what that's about here in a second maybe and then uh, basically once you get it in there you just hit start and away it goes Done. Okay, cut the part out. Little mini IH.
cute, eh? Now we'll show you the manual nest. Check this part of it out. You go over here, manual nest, it lights this up, and you tell it which side of the one you want it to cut, you want the next one from. So we want to go, of course, this way here. And you go back up to start. So we're gonna make another part. Now watch this up here. This shows where the torch is going, and then this is the uh, each line is a movement of the torch, I guess. So we'll do another one. We nested another one next door. So let's see what happens. up I hit that manual nest button twice I didn't put one there so we'll hit it going the other way and see if we can whip one in there manual nest that way there we go So there you go, dumped it right in the center. There's one we cut, didn't go through. Same with the little sled guy. This I think is a bad program. I've had problems with this making cuts and I determined it was all my fault. So I think this is a bad debunk program here. These have been cutting up flawlessly no matter what you do or what size. Well, except a couple times I had, I had it set way low there. So yeah, it should do the trick. Okay, here's some of the crap we've been cutting out practicing. Basically, everything's out of 16 gauge. This crap we had left over from that Amish Andy trailer. But made some saw bricks, signs, and then the fire controllers. We scale it down. You can scale it down to little, I don't know, two by two, one by a half, one and a half, one and a half. There's some of these little circle squares. There's some F-bomb beer bottle openers. Got some IH symbols. I'm going to use them as money at work. I get the guys to do stuff. At least my two boys will work for, work for them for money. I get to do them extra special bullshit stuff here. There'll be different values. And when I really need them to do something bad, I'll have them give them this one. And then there's some more parts scaled down. That's not too bad. Them are plasma cut holes. That's a pretty small part. That's a little logo I got off the internet. That's the Department of Transportation. I made that for my brother. And that's another little piece I just drew up for fun. Some, uh for you doing artsy fartsy shit and then here's some bigger pieces 
There's 16 gauge head tail cut. There's quarter inch cut out on it. Holes are pretty nice. There's a piece of 3 8 The cut is beautiful. I forget what size holes those are. I think those are supposed to be half inch holes. They are a little bit tapered in the 3 8 but I think it would work. And then this is half inch. And the machine will pierce half inch. These holes didn't turn out too good. They've got quite a bit of tape on them, but I don't know. I don't know what how it should look if you know if that's acceptable or if that's shit. I don't know what it should look like. But so far, it's gonna do the trick by the looks of it. But of course it didn't come with any without pains. And a wasted plate. This stuff, I don't know what our problem was here, but we had it multiple times. <coughs> Tried to do that Department of Transportation thing multiple times with a failure. The YH stuff went good. A couple times we had some problems with that. I would just tweak out on this and that work. Most of it was the program. Most of all the problems I've had here are self-induced problems. There's more stuff that didn't cut out. More stuff didn't cut out, but that could have been because I was playing with just a rusty plate to see what would happen. So far, it's a really nice piece of equipment. Really glad we we're fortunate enough to buy it. Lucky to get all that work this summer. So, need some flame cut parts to get a hold of Rinky Dink Machine Shop. They're not flame cut either, you dipshit. Okay, now we got some of the uh, artsy fartsy stuff you can do with the uh, plasma cutter too, with the CNC table. You know, artsy fartsy stuff for little girls that watch the channel and guys that got pellet stoves and stuff like that. They'd probably appreciate this. You make the little trees. Made a little couple of trees. Made a bigger tree. We got the uh, on the channel. We got the merch available. We got the IH Christmas tree ornament available. We've got two of those available. Hurry up, because those aren't going to last long. We got the F bomb bottle openers. Can it be open beer or pop? Well, yeah, we got the IH key rings. Those have been a hot seller. We got one of them left. And we got the IH laminated refrigerator magnet. You got to provide your own magnet. Okay, made this bracket too. This is, I guess, the first legitimate thing we used to make anything worth a shit other than stupid stuff. But this is going to be a bracket for our extra filter and our desiccant dryer. And to have that little nib cut out for that little stupid orange thing. We'll just bolt that to the table, and we'll have a, this is a short hose that runs to the plasma cutter, so you can take this out, because you got to take these beads out. Apparently, beads turn green when they're wet. You got another bag of beads around here somewhere. We'll just slide it in there and let it burn away. Ben job is pretty lousy. I don't know if you can tell it's crooked or in hell, but we'll just mount it straight. Who cares? It'll be fine. <laughs> 